All right, part two on items that, are they luxury or are they necessity? Are they essential? Okay, by day 13 of your elk camp, they're essential, trust me. Okay, so we're continuing on. We talked about the pillow. We talked about the camp shoes, okay? Now we'll talk about, real briefly, eye mask and earplugs. Eye mask, boy, that's critical because elk hunting, deer hunting, moose hunting starts early. You're going to want to come back to camp in the middle of the day and take a nap. It's so much better uh, when you've got that to shut your eyes and take a nap. Second, earplugs, okay? Earplugs may not seem all that necessary. You may not use them at home. But what if you are trapped in a two-man tent with a guy who snores like a grizzly bear? Joel Tuning, I'm talking to you. Yes. Or even if by yourself and you got an owl hooting outside your tent at three in the morning. Well, that's a cool nature sound about the first 10 minutes. But after an hour and a half, you're ready to go shoot the owl. Okay. So I definitely would bring that. Next, this is a USB rechargeable air pump for your air mattress. Okay. It weighs basically nothing. It's USB rechargeable. The charge lasts forever. I've had this for like two years and it's still on the initial charge. May not seem like a big deal until you get up to 12,000 feet when, hello, there's not a lot of oxygen up here. Or you're like me in Boundary Waters, moving every day. It gets really old, blowing up this thing by mouth all the time. So it weighs nothing. <laughs> Blow up your air mattress in less than a minute. It's a nice little luxury item. Okay, next is the camp chair, which I can't show you because my camera is sitting on the chair, okay? But the chair that I like is by Helinox called Chair One, okay? The Chair One weighs only like two pounds, folds up into this little bag so it doesn't take up much room at all. Uh, and at two pounds, boy, it is so worth it. When you come back to camp and you're tired, you slip on your slippers and you got your pillow behind you up against a tree, and you settle into that easy chair of your Helinox chair, it just makes all the difference. Sitting on the ground gets really old uh, real fast, especially when the ground's wet or there's snow on the ground. So definitely re recommend a chair. Okay, candles. What in the world am I bringing candles up here for? Okay, I personally love campfires. Telling stories around the fire, even if you're by yourself, just eating a meal by firelight in the dark, after a hard day's hunt, there's just something about the aesthetic value of a campfire. Well, I don't do campfires when I'm elk hunting because the smoke will blow every elk out of the county. county okay, so what do I use? Just bring a couple tea candles. They weigh nothing. Granted, it's not a gigantic bonfire, okay, but you'd be amazed how you put three little tea candles together. The aesthetics are you basically have a mini campfire. It doesn't create smoke that scare off the elk. And trust me, it'll make the aesthetics, it'll make it so much more enjoyable, which that's why we're up here. Finally, it's going to bring a book. Bring a book of some kind, okay? During the middle of the day, when you come back to camp, it's nice to have a book to bring. I always make sure I bring paperback books. Um, I'm not going to bring War and Peace or Moby Dick. I'm bringing a small little book, which if you happen to be looking for a book when hunting, Gee, Steve, do you have any recommendations on a good book of hunting short stories? I have got the book for you. It's called A Wilderness Filled Soul by Steve Osterholz. So check it out. I've heard great things about it. I promise you'll enjoy it. Bring it in the camp. And with that, hope you bring these items because the most important thing up here is having a great time and recharging that wilderness filled soul that you have.